Okay, we'll call this meeting to order at um, 6 o'clock on October 29th uh, to review the budget. We continue. We should begin uh, with the Pledge of Allegiance and we should look at the flag right back below it. Little, but it's there. Oh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. So we went through quite a bit last week on the budget, but we thought we needed a little more information on um, certain parts of the budget. So we've asked Dr. Lois Napton De Silva. Did I get it right? The silver napkin. The silver napkin. I knew I did it. It's all good. The silver uh, napkin. To come in. So why don't we start on page 1200-2? The proposed budget is nine hundred fifty-three thousand four dollars, which is down from the budget of this year, which was nine seventy-five, and. Uh, I think it was you, Frank, that had some questions. I have a, a, a number of questions regarding the budget. Did you bring uh, the class case managers? Okay, so can and we get a copy of that, or? Well, what do you? I have lots of numbers and all kinds of information. What exactly do you want? Case load by case by so by, case by grade, if you want. Yep. So our case managers, there's a range. And the range, it ranges from six per case manager up to 13. Okay, and how many, well that, that's a big range. So how right. many so have... I do have it by grade, by case okay, manager, so by school, by everything, and we'll get all the numbers right here. I guess what I'm looking at is, is there an opportunity, okay? Because I can't see justifying six kids for a case manager. Okay. Well, yeah, that's you know what? In other, other school districts, okay, yeah. they have a case manager per grade, all right, oh, and parents, okay, Seabrook, as uh, the chairman knows, had that scenario. Uh, there are other number of uh, schools that have that, uh, Hampton Falls, uh, all right. Uh, I'm just, I, we went a different route many, many years yeah. ago, and last year, last year, we had one case manager for the entire sixth grade. Yep. Okay, with 16 kids in that. Yep. All right, and if that case manager can do the job, and I'm not saying to go up to 16, but we should look at an opportunity to reduce costs in this area because it's always over budget. You know, we, we're always over budget. But if we can consolidate and eliminate a position or two, why not? So it just means somebody has eight, or it means somebody may have ten. All right? That's all I'm saying. And if there's an opportunity to do that, why not do it? Were they able to get all the reporting and stuff done that needed to be done? With six kids? I don't no, know. with the well, 16. Yeah, with 16, absolutely. Yeah, in fact, that particular individual uh, did well on the state review when they had to come back. So, but that, that person but is no huge. longer here. Right, but that's huge. That, that's something we definitely want to make sure. Well, that, yeah. you know what, my, my point is, if that individual can do it, so can somebody else. So, you know? it, the level of need matters, so that is a big important aspect if you have a child with severe needs and we have a few we have a handful in this district we also have a specific program at hampton the elp so those case loads the two two case managers have six then they move to eight i mean i have it by school by person by everything right well, here just, yeah. so most of the case managers have 10 okay i'll just Here's the caseloads at seven. Okay. okay, give us caseloads. Twelve, seven. thirteen, ten, eight, and seven. Five teachers. Mm -hmm. So those and two of them are preschool, and then the other three are are grade level. So that's that is a grade level, like you were saying, one per grade level. At Marston, the caseloads are six, six, eight, and eight. 
So at times, yes, are the case loads a little bit lighter? Yes. However, we have to take into account the transition of who's coming and who's going. Because there's only three great, I mean, four, five, six. I did a, a calculation of who's going to propose what it would look like next year. At, at Hampton Academy, the caseloads are 7, 9, 13, 8, 12, and 8. So, so is there an they are based, at, at the academy to consolidate? So I, I would say definitely not at the academy. But there is an opportunity to repurpose some of the positions. I would not suggest cutting a case manager position. No, you can repurpose. I, I don't have a problem right, right. of repurposing. Yeah. But I don't think, based on your numbers, okay, let's take the sixth grade. How many case, you have two case managers. What's yeah. the case Well, load? there's 24, ki 24 kids right now identified in sixth grade. That's okay, so that's 12 that's each? Yep, there's two case managers in sixth grade. Okay, oh, all right. Yep. And at seventh, seventh grade? Seventh grade, there's 19 kids. In eighth grade, there's 24 kids. And you have two. That's the academy. You have one at the academy that has seven, you just said. Um, we have a specialized program. Actually, that person has eight. No, no, and I know about seven, that. Program. That's a sixth grader. The sixth grade's not even, that's a seven, it's a nine six split. Sometimes when the kids move in, but yes, nine and seven. Okay, and so, we, and eight. so <laughs> what you're saying is there's a possibility to yeah, we can consolidate. We, we can, we can, we can consolidate and we can also make some of these caseloads exactly the math that I did. If we take the amount of case managers and the amount of kids we have right now today and divide it evenly across, there would be 10 for everybody. If everybody got flat amount of kids based but on you, our children. You have a 7, 8 team. Right. So there's, there there's are, a, because there's very, there's certifications, first of all, we have to follow. And then there's different pods and different scheduling in each building. It's very complicated. So you can't just say, we'll do one sixth grade, one seventh grade, one eighth grade. No, no, I, I understand okay. that. I'll, I'll, I'll buy into that, but I think you can consolidate and, and, and eliminate one, repurpose one position. We, that is a possibility. And that would be a cost savings of approximately what? Well, when I say repurpose, that doesn't mean cut the whole position. Let me, can I just show you, I don't, let me, can I just show you that the special ed budget overall isn't, it's going up 0.1% in this whole, everything that's special ed in this budget. Right. So, I mean, if you're, if it's a money thing, that's, well, that's what we're here, budget. I know, so I'm trying to tell you that the special ed budget is not going up at all, this budget round. And, and this year, you guys were 72,000 above, so. Thank you. Can I pass it out? Sure. Yeah. Do you want me to do it for you? Yes. Sure. So if you look at this year by year breakdown, it starts in 1314. If you wanted to I did I find it. I can say I, I didn't invent this. I found it and, and added the numbers to it. So but it will show you, um, you might have seen it before too, from 1314 all the way up to uh, 2122 where we're at. What kind of increases we've looked at and you're right frank there look at all that red almost every year every we've been in year the red. we've been over and budget, so right. i i mariah and i are going to work very hard to not see any more red in special ed and if you're going to see red you will be notified of it you'll know way ahead of time it, it is the red over budget it's over budget over right budget. so it means that those years see so in 13 14 you budgeted the 2155 and you spent the 2155 but you were still 39 in the negative okay. and I well I'm, I, I'm only yeah. asking that because Frank said earlier yes this is an area where we over budget and I never thought we over budgeted oh. I don't I don't believe in the past these, these this doesn't show me that we've been over budgeting I thought you meant that you were in the red when you said over, you meant spending too much money, budgeting. right? Yeah, you've we're been, under budget. Right, right, you haven't been over budgeting. You've been no, we've been the under red. budget. Okay, Is that what okay, you meant? we've okay. always been in the red. In there this, you go. Because right. last year we allocated an additional seventy-five thousand well, to this. Because of the transportation went crazy last year in special ed. Yep, yeah. transportation. The transportation went crazy, crazy. And right. then right around um, December, when we were we put a hold on the budget, we put a hold on the budget because. We knew special ed was going to get out of control because Jessica had two students, I believe, that were coming in um, right around then, and we and then she came in and asked 
to use her fund um, trust fund money because we knew we were going to be in the red. But then as soon as we yeah, and as soon black. as we do all that, right. uh, COVID hit and all of the stuff that we started to do for those um, no, no, uh, kind of went to the west like we. We saved on transportation. We saved on the problem is all itself. I, I, right. I, I understand everything you're saying. Okay, all I'm saying is some of the caseloads are light as compared to other districts and other groups in here. That's what I'm saying, and I understand what you're saying in the needs issue. Mm -hmm. All right, I, I I get that. All right, but I'm saying that if there's an opportunity to look at this. There's a possible savings of at least on, on, on the lighter side, eighty thousand dollars. On the plus side, maybe one hundred and twenty. So there's a range there. I'm looking at salaries. And well, well, and are you talking? Person. Yeah. Okay. Because that's where your heavy is based on. So, Dr. Lawson. Yes. So I won't get the last name That's wrong. fine. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm. I think I'm hearing from you that you don't think that is a good idea. Correct. Okay. We should not be thinking about cutting any special ed positions at this time. Okay. The level of service and need is correct. But I, that doesn't mean I'm not going to look at it. I'll continue to look at it. All right. So we have uh, something before the board, 953,004. Does someone want to make a motion for or against that amount? I'll make a motion for that amount. This is all salary stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Second. correct. Second. Well, I Seconded. Further discussion. Can I say something? Sure. So, you, one of the things I really like to do is get out and I want to see what's going on in Hampton Academy and Center, right? I'm. I'm well versed in what happens at Marston, but I really need to understand um, primary schools and also Hampton Academy in depth, right? So I've been doing walkthroughs weekly at least in the schools, just because I want to have a good understanding of the experiential program, and um, it also allows me to connect with the administrators in their in their in their context, right, in their buildings. One of the things that came to my attention that I've spoken to. Lois about, Dr. Lois um, Silver Napton about, is there are some positions that we haven't been able to fill this year, right? Yeah. Um, and so what I've seen that has happened as a result of that is you got, you've got um, certified educators that are picking up some of this that would have, if we could have hired, would have would have taken on that slack. And I'll, I'll go so far as to say we have um, one of our staff members that is actually, who's a male that's actually helping um, with toileting because we weren't able to secure somebody to assist um, with, with the situation. And my, my friend yeah. is saying, yeah. And, and, and it's a staff that does this willingly, but that's the kind of staff that you have, right? So although I know that, you know, we see this number, it looks high, but if you look comparatively, we're actually trying to come in at a reasonable amount so that we can stay within budget to ensure we meet the needs of our kids. Oh, and, and I understand that, and I'm not trying to upset that, but it's very difficult to justify caseloads under eight. Okay? It's difficult to justify that. When you have other, as, as you said, you have people with 12, 13, 14, yet you have case managers with under those numbers, right. all right? So that's the difficulty I'm having in justifying. Yeah, okay? I think because it's as, about the need as board though, members, right? As board members, we have to look yeah. no, at I understand. the budget right. and the dollars and the community. But it's also about the need, and there is a concerted effort from the leadership team to keep kids in their home districts. We know the cost about putting, first off, putting kids in out of district placements. We, we do that if we have to, but we know if we can keep kids in their home district, there is a great benefit to that. Social, emotionally, academically at times. So I guess I would say that we really have to look at what those, it's not about the numbers, it's about what the numbers represent in terms of the students and their needs. No, and, and I understand that, but we also 
instituted a program to address that very issue. Okay. But you also have a need, you did at the middle school, but you also have a need at the elementary that we are looking very closely at, just so you know. That's one of the, that's one of the things I've talked about with Dr. Lois and Sylvan Afton as well about, is that we really want to be able to address things, you know, and I think the preschool, that early intervention, that, those are the efforts that we're trying to do, but maybe we need to, we might need to eventually down the road look at how do we have some kind of a program that might be similar to at the middle school, even potentially for elementary students. Yeah. So, it's so, coming. so just so you know. Further discussion. Yeah. Oh. Anyone? Okay, so we have a, a motion and a second. I didn't get who seconded that. Me. Ginny, okay. okay. Um, to approve 953-004. All those in favor of the motion? Four zero zero. Okay, we'll go to the next page. <clears throat> we have an amount of 516,094. Uh, I would accept the motion either up or down. And then we'll have discussion. Yeah, I'd like to make a discussion on this. Okay, but we're going to get the motion first. Okay, I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Okay, this is the motion to approve. Okay, and second it. Frank. Okay, going back to my argument, I think this particular budget is underfunded because this is your parents, right? Right. Yes. Okay, where you have a concerted need for parents to work with these kids in the room. In, in their classroom, all right? That's why I was arguing the point on the first thing because I think the dollars can be best spent with additional parents. Did you want to? Okay, for one more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Did you want to change this motion, amend this motion, and increase it? Uh, yeah, I'd well, I would like to hear from you yeah, on that so before I make the amendment okay. because I don't know what a pair yeah. costs now. No. So I, I have done, um, I looked at length at the pairs, and, and also don't forget that in addition to what you see here, there are also eight more positions, not listed here, that are funded in the IDEA grant. So altogether we have 32 pairs in the district. Mm -hmm. So, um, and six of those are kindergarten, so we've got some pairs who serve um, gen ed students, and then the rest of them serve, and then we have a, bun a handful up at the, in the specialized program, and then the rest of them are spread out through the district. Para-wise, we have an adequate, we do have an adequate number of parents on staff. We really do. It's it, it's the just the right amount right now. We have some openings that we haven't filled. That's where we're running into problems. So okay. budgetarily, we have them budgeted, but we we have um, and right now an opening on at jobs that we haven't been able to fill. Anybody want a pair of job? It is open. It is okay, budgeted so and ready to go. So basically what you're saying is the budget is adequate, but yes. you have positions open that have not been filled to accommodate the need. That is correct. Okay. I'll buy into that. Further discussion? Okay. It's been moved and seconded that we accept 516,094. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Special ed tutors, five thousand. Can I get a motion one way or the other? Make a motion to move to Andrea, second it. Second. Ginny. Discussion? Can you just describe this so people at home can Yes. So this is when we have a need for students who are homebound and they require specialized services, we hire people to go and service them in their homes. So it, it's for homebound tutoring, um, as well as any other students who may be hospitalized, illness, any of those things, because we can't take our own people out of our building because they're all teaching, so we need to hire from the outside. So this fund is set up for that purpose and there's a specific hourly rate wage that, that is listed in. Do you have people doing that currently? Um, not to my knowledge, but when the need is there, it's good to have. Is that enough money? I guess I'm only yeah, asking because with remote learning, I just, 
I feel like I anticipate that there might be a need for more. I so, could be wrong. But. Well, this particular line is set up for an emergency when a student, you know, has a breaks their leg and has to stay home for a few weeks or has a, a major surgery and we need to service them. That's what this is for. So this, this line it, it is adequate. It, it's not happening now. Hopefully we won't have very many of these situations occur um, in any given year. So for this particular line, I think it's fine. But what you're saying, I, I completely understand. Um, there could be some- Could be a COVID emergency. There could be, there could be. I would say, I would say leave it at this point, okay. and and we'll see where we need to go with it. Okay. Further discussion. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. The amount of five thousand dollars. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Board certified behavior analysts. Uh, I think this is tabled. For two percent, yeah, the two percent yep. raise. Yep. Yes, 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 you're right. Are you making a chart of those? Mariah? Yep. Okay. And the next one is tabled. Is tabled. Salaries clerical is tabled. All, all the ones that have a certain percent throughout oh. the whole book. Okay. We're tabling in that. <coughs> Thank you. Um, uh, salaries district LEA, 5,500. Could I get a motion one way or the other? Move the Andrea. Move the Andrea. Seconded, Frank. Discussion. Okay. All those in favor? Four zero zero. The next one, forty-five thousand for the extended year program. A motion, one way or the other. I'll move the motion. Move Andrea. Seconded, Jenny. Yeah. Jenny. Can I get an explanation of this program? The ESY? Sure. This extended year program? Sure. So extended year programming is um, driven by IEP meetings. So it's for students who are identified as special education. And each team for each student decides if the child requires summer programming to um, help with their regression or any things that they might need between spring and fall. Mm -hmm. So it's for... It's it's mostly for students who we feel just cannot be away from education for that amount of time. And it's all driven by IEPs and it's all in a, in, driven by an individual team meeting. Okay. So every child has the meeting, the team, team decides yes or no, they write it down and then off we go. Then we plan, we plan the summer programming based on how many kids need it. Further discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Workshops and seminars, $2,250. It's level funded. A motion one way or the other. I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank. Seconded Andrea. Discussion. Okay, so these, the, the professional meetings, all those things, are there any, is there anything that is being added due to COVID? Is there anything that they need extra training in that pertains to COVID restrictions or how they handle kids or? Yeah, uh -huh. so this is for for people to go to workshops and seminars. And the funny th thing about COVID is this, we're not spending as much money on this anymore because all of, many of these are virtual, okay. virtual training. So it it is oh, one so benefit. So no cost for like right. webinars? Yeah, well, there's some cost, but it's much less. And there's no travel. There's okay. no travel expense. Um, the time is much less because we just go in our room, hop on our computer, and go right. to the training. As long as, long so as they're think able to access adequate. the training that they need. Yes. Yep. Okay. They are. Further discussion? Yeah. Uh, where do uh, grant money? Does grant money play into this? No, that's that's separate. But we can we can certainly um, bring it to your. Yeah, I can give you a breakdown yeah. of yeah. if you're looking at like Title Two, where where the PD is. Yeah. I can give you a breakdown of that. All right. yeah. We do have some um, workshops funded out of the IDEA grant also written into there. Okay. Further discussion? Okay, it's been moved and seconded. $2,250. All those in favor? 
0.400. Professional services, level funded account, 20,300. Motion? I'll make a motion. Moved to Frank. Second. Second to Ginny. Move that we accept it. Yeah. Uh, discussion? Questions? Yeah, I have a question. In, uh, the fiscal year 2019-2020, uh, all right, which ended, we only spent $5,000. The previous year we spent 10000 and we budgeted almost twice as much. And this year we're already over. And this year what? We're already over budget. We're over budget on this? Mm -hmm. So you want can to pull we it get up? an explanation on why we're over so budget? So it is, um, this is our, we have, Granite State Music, Birch Tree Center um, that, that provides some services in here. Um, with Bay Therapy. I don't want to go in with the the kiddos, but... No, 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 no. So, but it, it's being driven by students. Yes. Okay. So where are we here to date on it? So I believe that these, the two of the costs are all paid. Bottom line. We're at 40. So we're twice this much. What do you project the year to end? Well, don't some of it's in IDEA grants. Um, some of about half of these people, music therapy and birch. So some of these some, actually can be moved over. Some can. And and and, and the, so the grant was written. So um, anything that was pro is probably being spent now will be going to IDEA. So. We might be able to adjust some of this to IDA, depending on where the the that grant. I also I can say that we had a um, a severe need at the beginning of this school year, and we needed assistance, yeah. um, and we needed to hire an outside professional to assist us with that. We're working on I'm working on very hard with the team, um, making our own staff training our own staff to be able to do what these other people are offering us. All right, so you're double this budget right now yes but like oh not really I, not like what um what was said we have we just started the grant so i might be able to move but stuff. currently what else yes that you're twice this amount so you never is, yes. is some of this cover related uh no this is no, not this, this is, is actually all neat. child driven mm -hmm. specific people who are working with specific students so I, I, obviously you're going to have to look uh, to steal from Peter to pay Paul. That well, no, if we, we, so the grant was just approved. Yes. So I have to look and see that. I also ha I would have to see, um, so Kim puts purchase orders in for the year once we realize who, what they're going to be serviced for and how often and what, you know. So she would have actually another purchase order now that the grant started for that. So depending on where that lands, I can actually... Take what was already. And how much is it for that you're projecting? Twenty thousand. Oh, it's more than that. More than that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, there's oh yeah. There's quite we, a bit. But we don't know whether the grant. Probably eighty. But yeah. you don't there's know whether the grant's going to be there next year or not. Well, it's fairly. It's been there for yeah. yeah. It's yeah. been around. And, and this is that years. grant is what we usually utilize most of these expenses for. Right. You have to pay so much out of your budget and then utilize. Okay. Well then. That has to be yeah. right a percentage. So, Based on what yes. I'm hearing, you're trying to keep the budget at 20. Yes. But it isn't really working out to any great extent. Well, well no, uh, that's not what I that's not what I heard Mariah say. She's it's saying not grants. I, it's not what I heard Dr. Nat, Silva Napton say. I, I didn't hear them say that. Yeah, it is wow. working out quite fine with the grant and the budget and the way we balance the both. Mm -hmm. All right, with the grant and the budget, it's balancing out. Okay, I thought maybe you had. So when you see my budget report um, coming up, uh, we have not, like I said, the grant just got approved. So I will start reporting on that um, next month, at the beginning of next month. So you'll see some adjustments, and one of these will most likely be within this. Okay. Maybe December will be a good time to go over those grants. So that I know next month we'll be busy, but in December we can go through the grants and you can kind of get a sense of what we're trying to right. the grants is probably a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would to answer your question of how much is the grant. IDEA is right around two hundred eighty-three thousand. Probably seventy-five thousand is for this. It's for that line. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
No, no, I just didn't know if you had to increase it to offset going into no. next year, not knowing where we were with grants. Right. No, I agree. Grant money changes every year. Yep. Further discussion? Okay, it's been moved to 20,300. 20, All those in favor? Four zero zero. Testing, level funded at 5,500. Motion? I'll make a motion to move, accept. Moved, Andrea. Seconded? Ginny? Discussion? All those in favor? Ginny? Yep. 4 0. Legal expenditures, 2,500. Uh, motion? motion? Moved, Andrea. Seconded? Ginny? Discussion? Is this enough for this particular account? I know there's something pending, possibly, right? We don't we haven't heard anything back on the nope. other issue. No, nope. nope. not that I'm right. aware of. No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> no, I think this I think this is uh, I think this is fine. I have a lot of contacts I can reach out to in the community and Okay. Nice. Because nice. every time you pick up the phone <laughs> We know. <laughs> I know. We know, right? But I feel oh, we know. <laughs> legal, legal fees. Not a lot of time. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Further discussion? All those in favor? 4 zero, zero. <clears throat> Leasing of equipment? Level funded at 1,440. Copier, et cetera. Uh, motion? I'll make the motion. Moved, Frank, to approve. Frank, to approve. Yeah. yeah. I'll second. Seconded, Andrea. Discussion? Yeah. Uh, why was it? Why was it zero? Yeah, zero. So zero. what yeah. happens is um, with the copiers, if, you, if we have all the copiers over the place, special ed is really in, so we have an expense at Marston, we have an expense at Center, we have an expense at the Academy. There's no real copier that is just, is special, just special ed. ed. Right. So what we do is we took a percentage of that and we're supposed to make an adjustment through the three schools. And um, with the copy situation last year in COVID, we just never made that adjustment. Okay. So, so what you did is you repurposed the well, yeah, into that. Exactly, okay. correct, yeah. To give you a budget, okay. Uh, further discussion? Do you have your own photocopy machine now or just use the one? No, no, no the one I use the SAU one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I do have a little printer in my office. Yeah. Do you need your own? Do I need my own printer? Yeah. It's very handy when I'm printing things. I mean, the other copier is, is down the way, and that's a color printer. My oh, you mean a photocopier? Yeah. Oh, they it, oh, yeah, no, no, no they, they don't need one. No, I'm quite out of it. Oh, okay. I have everything I need. Okay. Right, stop trying to... Well, no, no, but I do know hey. when you're dealing with IEP and stuff, no, which is confidential. We have you know, to... You don't want to be floating all over the building uh, on the remote. Yeah, right. no, I agree. I, I agree. I heard that. Frank, you have a point. You don't want the IEP floating all over the building. No, no, yeah. No, yeah. In the old... You know, they used to do an IEP and send it to, say, the main office, the print because Oh yeah, no, they have set ones limited. now. And then and everybody else can see that. Right, no, we have, we're, it's all set up in a very common Yeah, and, and there's actually, there's technology now that you can go with your thumbprint and, and the cards and all that. Okay. So, I don't know if we utilize it, but I'll have to well, talk to Greg, I, I but know, we have I, it. I, I don't want to violate that. <laughs> yeah, because let me make sure we had that. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we bought the cards. Yeah. Yeah. Further discussion? So it's been moved and seconded 1,440 for this account. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Telecommunications. I'll make some motion to accept the eighteen hundred. Moved Frank, seconded Andrea. Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Question eight hundred two thousand one hundred seventy. That is down one hundred and five thousand dollars. 
Um, someone make a motion? I'll make the motion to accept. Second, Andrea. Move to Frank. Second to Andrea. Discussion? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if I understand it, these outside placement issues have gone up in price. So if this budget uh, made adjustments for those increases because that came up yep. last yep. Yep. So July or June, whatever it was when we right. were looking at this. Right, yeah, no. Yeah. No, that's a good point. So my, my question is, does this budget adequately meet those increases as we're moving up, especially due to COVID? It does. Yes. So <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're, we're expecting a little bit of movement and we're, we tried to make it as reasonable. Reasonable and as fair as possible. Yeah. Reasonable. Okay. However, you never know. We don't. No. We don't. Someone is going to take a right, right at the toll booth. One. That's one. Right. Move into town. That's right. That's one student can service. take. One student can take our budget and well, put it completely upside down. We now. have a special trust account for emergencies like that. Mm -hmm. Special ed trust mm -hmm. account. So. Right. But you do. I mean, you know, tuitions are. Sure. The lowest tuition for an out of district right now is easily sixty five thousand. That's just the tuition. Add the transportation on top of that, which is twenty five or thirty. Some tuitions start at eighty. Transportation goes up to thirty or forty. I mean, you could have a child cost you one hundred and fifty thousand easily, depending on their needs. So, but we have taken that into account. We have looked at our current status of where we are, and and I, I also do a projected. You no, know, I let you know. Dr. Costa know like this is what I think is happening based on the culture of all the kids that are here and their needs and this will be adequate. As far as today, like yeah. what we have today, that's all I can tell you. Yeah. No, no, and, and I understand that, that but know. this particular account, and Mariah can back me up on that, this particular account has always made has, well, is, the issue I mean, of sending this is, your department. <laughs> That's yeah. the reason why you have all these reds on here. I'm right. sure this that, is the account. Yeah, and you don't know what next year brings. So I, I mean, I, I, I guess understand. if you're comfortable with the number, that's fine. But you know, from historical data, and we, it, this number is never actual. And I know you're trying to squeeze it, but we, we think it's a fair number. We really yeah. do. Okay. We well, really you do. think it's a I fair number? I think the three number, of us talk extensively about mm -hmm. this one yeah. because of the situation. I mean, yes. It, it is, it is fair as of today. Yes. Well, but, everything's fair as of today. Right. It's tomorrow. It's it's the tomorrow. Issue. Well, we can't predict, but yeah. We're well, predicting we, as best as we can. Right. So it's been moved and seconded. Eight hundred two one seventy. For these discussion. Are, these are students that would never be serviced by the Hampton School District in Hampton. I mean, their needs yeah. are too I much, mean, aren't they? I never say never. Okay. I mean, the goal is always to bring our students back from out of district. Right. However, that being said, you there are some students with severe needs that are placed out of district for a very good reason and most likely will stay there until they're a, you know, until they're in high school. So yes. These this line is set up for those students who are placed in those schools to pay for their tuition. So basically what you're saying is this line is, is based on today's needs for today's for students. next year. What? Yeah, project. Right. But you, but if, like, right. Right. Unless the chairman we get says a move somebody in makes the right turn, and we have yeah. two additional people come into the district, well, it could be yeah. tough. Yep. They go oh. your budget. Yep. That's when you're. We're going to be calling you in to work. <laughs> hey, you know. Further discussion. <laughs> okay, it's been moved. Eight oh two. Eight oh two one seventy. All those in favor. Four zero zero. Travel reimbursement one thousand five hundred. Level funded. Moved. Andrew seconded. Ginny. Discussion. All those in favor. You're not going too far. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not a lot of travel happening either. You think yeah. about it. It's yeah. really a lot of things have changed, uh -huh. and that's one of the biggest changes. Supplies, general supplies for special ed offices, classrooms, and special services. Level funded at $3,008. Motion. I like Moved. Motion. Frank. Seconded. Andrea. 
Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Software. Uh, 5,600, that's level funded. You can see the breakdown of it. Motion to I'll make a motion move to Frank. Seconded. Andrea, discussion? All those in favor? 400. Equipment? I'll make a motion to accept the 6,200. Moved Frank. Seconded. I'll second it. Discussion? Yeah, this is a dramatic drop of uh, almost 33%. What's that do to? Equipment, let's see. I'm sorry. So equipment we haven't utilized as of yet um, this year. I can go back and see what we actually spent last year, but most likely um, it's specialized equipment. So I think we, I, I let, let me look for you. Well, well, <laughs> maybe next year when we put this together, um, some examples of some of that specialized equipment. Yeah, so usually it's FM systems. FM systems, yeah. and, um, and it could have been any form of equipment that kiddos needed at home last year right. in March. But if we could um, just see some examples. Yeah, for sure. Stuff. Yeah. Is this like wheelchairs and stuff? It could be. Yep, yeah, I mean. And special so, keyboards for kids yeah. that needed bigger yeah. keyboards. Right, so my, my question is, you've always spent, the last year, uh, we spent over $9,000 and we were yeah, why don't we, I would like to know what happened in 2000. Yeah, right. and, and it's the third. I, I'm just saying, does it Let's need to it go back to 9000 at the level of, and I, could we cut 5000 last week? Yeah. Let's, Let, see. Let's see. Oops. Well, why don't we give you a chance to do that? We'll come back to this one. Yep. Okay, we, while you do that, sounds good. And we'll come back to this one. We'll do the next one: dues and fees at seventeen hundred dollars, which is level funded, and the breakdown is down below. A motion for that. I'll Frank, make the motion. Second to Ginny. Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Tell us when you're ready, Mariah. Let's see, mm -hmm. That's the end of that. Can we talk about um, because Lois is here? Do you, would it be important to talk about the salaries of summer school or no? I guess it's not. It's regular. Right. There we go. Nope. We're good. Um, we had hearing aids. We had the FM DM system. Um, we had a lift. We had um, an iPad repair and then lease service on one of the one of the equipments. Okay, so just yeah, maybe next year we'll put it. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's oh. the, the hearing mostly. Yep. The hearing aids. Yep. All right, and is that FM particular system. individual still with us? Oh, yes. We have. I'm saying the reason I'm asking the question yep. is hearing aids are only good for two years. After that, they they dissipate. So if we're not budgeted. They're only they're only good for two years. Yeah, but isn't hearing aids covered by insurances? Yeah. If, he, if the person has it. But not has if, insurance or uh, oh, hey, by if no, they, no, no, they're they're covered if you have adequate insurance. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm yeah. get at. All right. It's not mandated in the state. I'm thinking, I'm you don't have it on the you have Medicare, you're out of luck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, if you get a Medicare Advantage plan, you can get them, but you're still going to pay four grand. You know, this is also, you, this is also <laughs> used for um, you know, students who are in wheelchairs if we need specialized equipment for them. Yeah, there was a lift the toileting, there. There for, a, for the lift, transporting, okay. for lifting. There's all kinds of, and we do have yeah, some students with wheels. All right, I want to make a motion to amend this budget. Okay, I got to go back to where we were. Did we have a motion to approve that six thousand two hundred? Yes, yes. did. Who, who, who? It was, was me Frank and, and then uh, you. Frank and then I sure? seconded okay. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All well, right. I, I I will withdraw my second, and I think Frank will withdraw his motion. So we're back to the beginning. There's right. No okay. action. I would like to make the motion to increase this by at least 
$2,000 to make it 82 because I don't have a comfortable feeling on your special need equipment going into the new fiscal budget. So we have a motion to change this to 8200 Do we have a second? Second. Second to Ginny. Further discussion? I think we know why Frank wants this motion. Okay. All those in favor? 4-0. That is the end of that. Well, this with all the um, COVID and all the people with their job layoffs, do we have any idea how many of our children out of school are not insured? That's a good question. Because I bet, yeah, I, I bet there's a lot. Could you find that out for us? Uh, are you talking about just special ed kids? Or no, I'm talking about everybody. You know, yeah, I, it's a great question. You know why I'm thinking about that question? I think because know. it came up at my nurses' meeting on Wednesday that kids who have to go get a COVID test, they don't have insurance. It's $165. And yeah. if... That's oh, supposed to be wavered under the federal mandate. If you, only if you go to the centers, which are in Londonderry currently in Concord, and I'm told now that they have them in Nashua and Manchester because those are the cities. So when I was on call with our commissioner, and I know when Karen Brand and Amy Pietras were on call with Dr. Kan and Dr. Daly, we are advocating to have a center closer to the seacoast. But I can tell you right now, we don't have a center that's close to us. But that's there great. was a center at East Air Force Base during the summer. It was a drive-through. Yes. It, it was convenient. It, it was free and was sponsored by Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about um, the state just get in some COVID tests, rapid COVID tests, which they were supposed they, to be not, not at this time. Not, I, not I don't know if they'll come as our so numbers are So here's the bottom line. That, that, that's being allocated the first kids that need to be responders. tested, and their families either A, can't afford it, B, can't get to all those testing sites, so that puts everybody including those children at risk. The, the, the parents, I have to say, and I say, I try to say it every week, they've been so cooperative. They've been doing it. But they can be as cooperative as you want, and they want to do the right thing, but if they're not able to do the right thing... I, Andrea, I think, that's why I, that's why I, that was my advocacy this week on call with the commissioner. That was mm -hmm. Karen Brand and Amy Ketchis' advocacy. Mm -hmm at the state level as well with our DHHS. Are we I think getting, they heard it. Sorry. Are we getting help from PTA or? I know the PTA. Um, for some of this? And also Emily Buckton, our social worker, okay. has been trying to help families as we need them. But these are things that kind of creep up that you've got a timeline, right? You have to go get yeah. that COVID yeah. test to come back into school because you get sniffles. And if you don't have the insurance to do so, it's, sure. there's some, there are barriers here. Or, well, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe we, and I know our agendas are filling up, yeah. but perhaps, just perhaps, um, we'll be meeting again next Thursday, and maybe we could ask Emily to just come in yeah. and talk just briefly, briefly, about any COVID concerns that she's dealing with. I don't know if they're reaching See, out to her. The but thing I was going to say, the person that this is going to affect is the person that either recently got laid off or earns between thirty and fifty thousand dollars and doesn't have right. has a high mortgage and doesn't have the money to pay. Okay. That's right. And they're going to keep them home, mm -hmm. or they're going to do something else because they don't want to, they cannot pay the hundred right. so right. and sixty dollars. And they're never going to admit to a social worker okay. that they need help. How do I know Ben there done that? Yeah. Bought that T-shirt. So can, can we also check with CVS? Because I no, it's over test. twelve. You have to be over twelve. So I'm you can't have. You have to be over twelve. Uh, most of our kids are not over twelve. You've got cent you've got center and margin that are not over twelve. No, uh, okay. They're not they take the test. They won't do children at CVS drive -thru. No, no, but I didn't think CVS charged. They it doesn't matter. The insurance. They don't, they they don't charge. The issue is is that kids can't get it there. Uh, you well, can't get it. Because you have to be over 12. They won't do children. 
I'm not sure we're going to solve it here, but yeah, yeah. Okay. if you want to ask her. Yeah, if you get to get a data, ask her, but we've got to realize that the scope is right. bigger than that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, maybe she can talk to us briefly yeah. about some issues. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we get to meet her. That's right. Yes, right? Hey, that's that's another thing. We, haven't, get to meet we her. haven't met the new staff yet. No. no so let me know what, how I can. We were going to when something happened. <laughs> that's a story no, of our lives. No, we right? The story of our lives. Well, the meeting should have to invite meeting. them to the board meeting and just introduce them. We typically we, we do, typically, but we had Zoom we were meetings. Doing that, and we have we oh. had a Zoom meeting or something. Well, they we were there at the town hall initially, and we didn't have the space for the That's right. That's right. So, so that invite, right. yeah. but now that we're at Hampton Academy, we could technically do it in November, December. Okay. Just let me know when you want. Okay. All right. What? If the social worker wants to just briefly come in and touch base with us about any COVID issues. Yeah, I don't know if he to. knows that, but I will, you might okay. want to just have something. Yeah. All right, now folks, we are going to have to jump way ahead to page 2290. I can tell, I'll tell you that it comes right after a blue tab. Why, why are you skipping? We, that's where we start. We, we, we that's off. where we stopped. Yeah. yeah, we skipped. And then we do we stopped. do coaches invite stipends? Well, those were the two. Yeah, we did. We did. It was a flat thing, and we're not using it, so. Yeah, um, yeah and we can then we want to turn it up and we can't until the next vote. So we did It's after a blue page, yeah. Ginny. Yeah, the support services. Right. Yeah. Uh, support services, yeah. salaries, paraprofessionals. Everybody good? Andrew, are you good? No, I'm not. Yeah. Well, they could be different colors on her. Uh, we haven't done 2290 vehicles. We haven't done. Nope. No. Keep going forward. I think it was before that. That's where we stop. Oh, yeah. 20, 22, 25. Then it should be after that. Yeah, we've done all that. There Except it is. for salary. I got it. I got it. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we're oh, on the next page. Okay. Maybe. 2290-2? Yes, 2290-2. That's okay. Okay, so we have a total salaries for Paris of $79,214. A uh, motion? I'll make the motion. That's Move. contractual. Move. Yes, sir. Frank, you accept? Okay. Seconded uh, Jenny, I think? Yep. Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Uh, salaries, bonus, pays for the amount of one dollar. Someone want to move that? I'll we don't it. give raises. We don't give bonuses. And that's what I just said to my. Right? <laughs> <laughs> move, Jimmy. Seconded. I'll second. Frank. That office is really looking good, isn't it, Mariah? I know. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. All those in favor of the one dollar? Four zero. School resource officers. I thought we weren't paying this. So we had talked about it and we got bamboozled. <laughs> oh, well, well, everybody's in a budget crunch. Right? Pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's 226000 Um, it These, or at least two of them, well, all three of them, technically, have all been voted in, two mm -hmm. by Warren yeah. articles, as right. I recall. Right. So um, I don't think we want to mess around with this too no, much. No. Nope. No, well, I make a motion we accept the 226. Seconded. Uh, Andrea, any discussion? All those in favor? District Telecom, 1,455, it's broken down at the bottom, level funded. Although, no, sorry. I'll motion. make a motion to accept. Frank seconded. Uh, Jenny, uh, discussion. All those in favor, 4 to 0. It's a big salary. <laughs> Uh, Board of Education, this is page 2310-2, uh, level funded. 
Uh, motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Move Frank. Second. Second to Ginny. Discussion? I, it, this isn't the time to do it, but I do think the chair, from what I observed, does need to have that amount increased. Well, it's just you're, me, but you're, you're right. right. It's, it's not the time. It's not the time to do it. Just putting it out there. Okay. What's that? that I so believe the chair's chair. salary yeah, needs to be should. increased given the amount of work. I do too. But that the chair has to do, given the time that we're in. I don't think it's appropriate, it isn't. but I'm just putting it out there. But I agree. Okay. Further discussion? All those in favor? Look at the fringe benefits. This, exactly. <laughs> the one yeah, we, we could reduce oh, everyone's oh, salary by $50 and move it in there. Are you going to increase <laughs> the salary by $50? We could reduce. Reduce. reduce hours. Oh. Change. Sarah, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Legal expenditures board, twenty thousand. Um, we know when we had to pay an exorbitant amount. We know what that was for. Yes. Um, we're not anticipating that. Uh, so it's twenty thousand. Uh, I know we're. We do use um, the attorney for negotiations, but I think that's in a separate that's, yeah, account. Yeah. So, um, I'll make a motion to accept. Moved, Andrea. I'll second it. Seconded, Frank. Discussion? All those in favor? Andrea? Oh, sorry. Well, you made a motion. Audit? I think that's the, the, the going price, right, Mariah? Yes. Yes. I mean, you can't, you can't <laughs> fiddle with that too much. We have to have that it. Is. And that's what they charge. I'll make a motion to accept. Moved, Andrea. Seconded, Ginny? Yep. Discussion? All those in favor? Andrea? 4 0. Annual meeting? 3600 The costs are um, right there. Motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Moved, Frank. Seconded me. I'll second that. All right, so my discussion? Question. Yeah. Why we did pay elect election officials? Why do we pay election officials? Yes, we do. Well, because it's part of our ballot. It's part of, we're part of the thing. The election. They're, back, they're doing our ballots on March 9th. Oh. Both the elections. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, the March one. So the town doesn't pick it up? No. no, we're in a budget crunch. You can't even pay No, and then else. I just got a yeah, a, you bill got a, what? a bill from last year because they didn't they didn't have it until now. So how much was that? I think it was seven hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Uh, further discussion. All those in favor? Four zero. Advertising, Apple Track, Ed Jobs too. Yep. Oh, there it is. First, yep. first line. Yep. Uh, 2,650, level funded. Motion. I'll make a motion. Frank, so. seconded, Ginny. Yep. Further discussion? All those in favor? Five, zero, zero. Well, we can go to South Seabrook. We all get a dollar. Not even. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the Penguin well, gas station, maybe, right? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Travel reimbursement, school boy, the one dollar to keep the account open. Yeah, that's moved. It. Frank seconded. Andrea, all in favor? Uh, I didn't I even have any discussion. <laughs> Supplies, school board uh, pays for our, our notebooks and other things, paper stuff that we get all the time. And I'll make a motion to accept thirty-seven. Moved. Frank seconded. Andrea, all those in favor? Four zero zero. Dues and fees that we pay. Make a motion to accept the 7105. Moved Frank, seconded Ginny. Just that, that policy just uh, is worth its weight in gold because I mean, we get all our yeah. policies. Yes, yeah. yeah. so this is $450. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. Four zero zero. 
Okay. We come to the district administration, and I need I think to this ask. This is table. Well, and yeah, because it's two percent. Well, I was just going to ask you. Now. Um, would folks like to <laughs> take a break? Take yes. a break. I'll make a motion to take a break. Okay. Move Frank, second with me. All those in favor? Okay. Who's going to take a break? Okay. <laughs> All right. We are back in public session. Andrea, I think you have a motion. I do. I have a motion to um, extend the time for um, staff to um, submit their letter of retirement from November 1st to December 1st. I think given COVID and everything else that's been going on, um, people may need a little bit more time to reflect and um, make their decision. Is there a second? I'll second. Discussion? I think we've already had discussion. All those in favor? Uh, opposed? Okay, the motion fails. Two, two, so it fails. Um, let's continue on with page 2320-2. And we're going to table that. Is that not right? Yeah. Okay. And your table, or, go ahead. I guess we should go. And uh, the $1 for the HR assistant on 2320-3. I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank, seconded. Andrea? Uh, discussion? All those in favor? 4-0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, SAU assistant, this is a 2%, so we've tabled those. Oh. We've tabled the bottom one. We're on workshops and travel, $7,000. This is for SAU administrators and staff to attend workshops and conferences. $7,000, it's level funded. A motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank, seconded. Andrea, discussion? All those in favor? 4-0-0. Zero, zero. Contracted services, fees for criminal background checks for volunteers, $200. That's come down from 1920, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a motion from someone? Who's mm -hmm. District 50? Huh? Right. SAU 50 is poor. Oh, that's our District 50? No. No. Right. It's a typo. What? A typo? The bottom of okay. the 50 is district wide, so yeah. if that's what you're looking at, point, okay. Okay. it's district wide. Okay. Uh, that, I didn't get who, who gave that motion. Frank made the motion and Jimmy. Um, that's 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 Discussion? All those in favor? 4 zero, zero. Uh, Labor relations? Um, this is a, this is a, um, a contract year, but next year is going to be a contract year too. You can count on that. Yeah, I'll make a motion to accept. Moved, Frank. I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Professional development, five thousand level funded. It's explained down at the bottom. Motion from someone? I'll make a motion to Moved accept. Frank, second it. Andrea, discussion? All those in favor? Uh, four zero zero. Repair and maintenance, $500, level funded. Motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank, seconded Ginny. Discussion? All those in favor? 4-0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, equipment rental? $3,360, again, it's level funded. Motion, I'll make a motion to accept. I'll second it. Seconded Frank. Discussion? All those in favor? 4-0-0. Zero, zero. 
telephone, level funded, 6,300, motion. motion. Andrea, Second. sec seconded, Ginny. All those in favor? No discussion. Oh, sorry, discussion? All those in favor? I didn't think there was any discussion. But I should ask. Postage, $2,000. Motion? I'd like a motion to accept. Move Frank, seconded, Ginny. Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Zero, zero. Supplies, level funded, 6,500. Motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Frank, seconded, Ginny. Discussion? All those in favor? One, zero, zero. Books, printed materials? 750. You see what it's for down at the bottom? I didn't know you could buy any books for $660 nowadays. <laughs> it's getting pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Move Frank, seconded Ginny. Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Internet access? Comcast? 3,900, level funded. Motion? Andrea, seconded. Ginny? Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Software license support. Make a motion to accept the 5760. Moved Frank, seconded uh, Andrea. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Financial software, 17,152. I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank, seconded Andrea. Uh, discussion. Um, what what is the budget sense yeah. again? Yes. What is what it's, is it? It's our budget sense. Software. It's the it, it it's it's this. computer stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's the accounting software. And we lease that yearly. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Financial software support. I'll make a motion to accept the twenty-five thousand. Second. I'll second it. Okay. Uh, just curious, why is that in a different account? So there's there's software, and then there's the um, there's two. They have. For some reason, Nathan had two separate accounts, one for the software and one for the support and maintenance. So, so the maintenance side? So the maintenance is, so we switched the maintenance to go on, instead of having our server last year, we, we have it on their server now, so it's web-based, so everybody can get onto the system um, from their house or from wherever. So we don't have, we're not paying out of um, technology anymore for a server, we're not paying for a server, but now we are covering, we're paying um, budget sense to, if anything crashes or um, all the backup that needs to be done and anything that we need to pull for backup that, that we've, we've lost or mistaken, they now control that rather than technology department. Any other discussion? Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Can I uh, make a motion that we accept the next two at a dollar equipment and furniture without individually? Sure. Is that and a second for that motion, Andrea? So um, all those in favor of those two accounts, furniture and equipment, at one dollar. Jenny, uh, yep. four zero zero for both. 
and dues and fees for the SAU. I'll make a motion except the 3719. Moved Frank, seconded Andrea. Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Other expenditure? Make a motion to accept it. 3000. Seconded? Ginny? Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Zero, zero. Okay. So we are at salaries, principles, and I'm guessing we're tabling that. All right. Tables. And we're tabling clerical support. How long does that get tabled for? Our next meeting. So we'll have the information allegedly that we need for that? For what? No, no, it's, no. It, we need to make a decision okay. on it. All right. Okay. All right. Um, in the information tab, there is a breakdown on all the non unions, so you can see a total yeah. of. Yeah. So you um, might want to take a look at that before next time. Right. Can you, for our next meetings, on all those tabled items? You know, and I'm just looking at one raw number, not an in individual number. Yeah, so that you all know, those no, table I know items. That's the two percent, but can you look at one, one and a half, and oh, you want me to break them all down? Yep, I can yeah. do that. I want to do the each individual to see what the cost yep. issues are. Yep, I can do that. Thank you, Maria. Yep. Course reimbursement three thousand level funded. Motion. I'll make a motion. Frank, second. Andrea, discussion. All those in favor? 400. Workshops, seminars, 5,000. Motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Moved Frank, seconded Ginny. Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Telephone? I'll make a motion to accept the 22208. Moved Frank, seconded, I'll second it, me. Discussion? All those in favor? 4-0. Postage, 4,100. Moved, Andrea, seconded. I'll second. Frank? Discussion? All those in favor? 4-0-0. Supplies, 14.9, level funded. Motion. I'll make a motion. Move the Andrea. Second. Second, Ginny. Discussion. All those in favor, 4.00. Zero, zero. And dues and fees. And that went up 12, 8.50. I'm sure that's just the cost of doing business in those. So that was the, no, that's um, not in default. It went, only went up in proposed, I believe. Yes. Um, yeah. And that's due to if you guys, after the discussion of the um, assistant principal, because it would, that would need to be added. Yeah. What has to be? Uh, the, it would be at the center school, um, another. Of the association, oh, okay. the things that we're looking at. Okay. Okay. So then we better table that. What the association does? We need to table that because the we haven't made a decision. We haven't decided on central school. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, facilities, I think we're going to table. That's table. Additional support. And I'll make a motion to accept the 4320. Second. Andrea. And, and what is that additional support? For 
facilities. Yeah. Um, that is for Cindy or well, he usually had Cindy Orlando come in during the summers okay. and go through his files and help file and do the um, the book that they need for each each school with all the codes yeah. and all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Further discussion. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Uh, custodians, we should table that. That's the two percent. Substitute custodians, he's asking for four thousand five hundred, which is level. I make a motion we accept. Moved Frank, seconded. Jenny? Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Custodial overtime? Motion to accept. Moved to Andrea. Seconded? I'll second. Frank? Discussion? I'd like to make a motion uh, 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 for discussion purposes. Can we table this along with uh, the increases? I just I think we need uh, Keith to give us some insight on this. You want him to come to the next meeting? No, I, it, it's just custodial overtime. I mean, you know, I know Colbert's going to be driving some of this, you know, but I'd like to get a better feel for it. You know, it's, it's close to fifty thousand right. dollars. He's actually. Um, Unless you got some input. I I I know what I only know what we've discussed. So what we've talked about is um, we have one employee that he has not filled the position yet and has had a substitute. Um, and so that's been kind of saving a little bit, but we have to make a decision because after so many months and so many hours, no matter if they're full time or not, you have to pay them health insurance and New Hampshire retirement by law. So he has to come up with a decision if he's going to hire him or not. Because that's coming close to that number, we've discussed that. Um, and with that, is um, the OT? He's really trying to um, pull that back since we have the Wednesdays, and um, so a lot of them have been trying to do deep cleanings in a longer time, so they don't have to come in on an extra day. Mm -hmm. So. Um, He's been doing a great job trying to manipulate who is where and what so that the overtime hasn't gone crazy. And with the, the backpack units um, and the guys learning how to use it properly and um, efficiently, you know, it's, it's, it's coming along a lot faster than what's been expected. Okay, so I, I guess my... So, honestly, I, this year is definitely going to be not your norm, right? Like, we already know that. Um, next year, we don't know. Well, I, I guess my question is, okay, you've got almost close to 50000 in overtime. Would it be cheaper for us to, you know, to put on, I thought we agreed to, didn't we budget for an additional custodian because of the new? Mm -hmm. I, so again, last, again, it's about finding people. Yeah. You've got to understand, um, even though there's an unemployment rate that's, we, it's not easy no, to no, find. But before COVID, we budgeted for this. Right, but you can't find people. We can't, we're having trouble finding right, people. Yeah. He, he has and the right person, know. too. So it's, that's uh, it's hard. It is. I think it would be cheaper just to hire an additional person. If you, know? you can but, find them. Yeah, if you can find them. They can't find That's someone. right. So we have table 2620-6. Yeah. We're on to 2620-7, water. I'll make a motion to accept the 23105. Second. Ginny? Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Recycling? All are in each school. Make a motion. Moved Andrea, seconded. Ginny? Any discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Pest control. Sixteen seventy-five. It's level funded. 
I'll make a motion to accept the 1675. Moved Frank, seconded oh, Ginny. Uh, all those in favor? Oh, sorry. Did anybody want to discuss it? There is a big jump. So we added that last year because we were having um, rodent issues. And um, we're still having those issues? So with sort of. COVID and stuff in the buildings were kind of not used. We didn't utilize. Okay, that's this. fine. But yes, we do utilize this. Okay, enough said. Yeah. Yeah, they still test you on this. Just because mm -hmm. of COVID. Okay, I, I motion we accept the 15,000 for fire safety. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 1675, we've already voted on it. Four yeah, zero. no, no, that. So 15,000 for fire safety moved to rank, seconded. Ginny, discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Repair and maintenance, 209,500. It's all listed there. Is that all three gym floors that get redone? Mm -hmm. Yep. Even the new one? Um, mm -hmm. They typically would if they were, if it's going to be used, et cetera, et cetera. Right. As long as they okay. But typically, yes, they all three get redone every year. Um, motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Move Frank, seconded. Andrea? Discussion? Yeah. Uh, is there a way to reduce this budget since covert? I mean, we're not using the gym floor, so why do we have to refinish them? Again, it is a it is a meeting space. I know at some of the gyms that's where they do their team meetings because they can um, socially distance and they can be you know they can. Are you using, utilizing the gyms now? They're using Marsden and Center, and I believe they are for Hampton Academy for certain meetings. So that's what I see. If you go in, there's. They're using it for storage on one half, and then on the other half, there's actually like they've set up tables like this, okay. so that they can do their committee meetings. And hopefully by next year, we'll be all the okay. classes and back to normal, right? We can hope. We can hope. Could someone make a motion on this? Yeah, we, yeah. We, it was, and it was second. discussion. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Four zero. Property and liability. That fits a set thing. I'll make the motion to accept 59.895. Moved Frank, seconded Ginny. Any discussion? All those in favor? 4 0. Supplies for custodial and building maintenance. and. I'll make a motion to accept moved. the 57,000. Moved Frank, seconded. Andrea, discussion? Yeah, it is, uh, is covert impacting this? The supplies? Yeah, yeah. so uh, where are we year to date? From COVID supplies, we've spent 70 grand. 70? Mm-hmm. This is for next this year. coming year, it's the next year. Yeah, well, we're so on So I guess we're budget. anticipating that. We're anticipating that it's gonna go away? No. Well, only certain yeah. people in the country do that. Okay, just ask them. No, I, I see what you're saying, Frank. Um, it seems a lot that I heard we've rounded the corner. Um, <laughs> um, it, we need to. Uh, I, I hear what you're saying. You, 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 I feel like you want to anticipate. I, I, I think maybe you a need to more. anticipate because it, it, here's my concern, okay, which I, I've voiced up several times. If you under budget, you're going to have to steal from Peter to pay Paul. And, and with this particular issue, it's, and I know it's all grouped in together, but you've got masks, you've got the, the, the cleansing equipment, mm -hmm. you've got wipes, I would assume, mm -hmm. this. Clorox wipes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and you got hand sanitizer. And I've been trying to figure out how much it would cost us a trimester, and right now we have no idea because. We bought a lot of it before school started and bulked it up at once because we weren't we were afraid that we mm -hmm. weren't gonna get the supplies. Right. So we really don't know how much is being utilized right now at a monthly like it is so hard to even calculate well, it, to I, figure I, it out. 
So it's a guessing game, honestly. No, all I, of this. And I know and, that, but I know if you're yeah. trying to find hand sanitizer, where it used to be two ninety nine, now oh, it's, it's six ninety nine. Completely. Okay? So that's all I'm throwing out. Even the actual. Just so you know, um, it looks like there's going to be some relief coming down the pipe that they're going to give us two hundred dollars per student based on last year's numbers. So we could. We're going to find out tomorrow morning. You could be getting two hundred thousand dollars from federal funds. So. Um, it's, it looks really pretty promising. Really we yeah, spent yeah. all of our ESSER grants. You know, Mariah did a tremendous job with that. We, so once you spend your ESSER grants, which you've talked about through the CARES Act, you then are automatically entitled to that money, that 200 per student, so about $200,000 is allocated for Hampton. And then um, there could be some competitive money afterwards. Okay. I won't count on the competitive money, but I think we can count on the 200000 Okay. Which is... Which is good news for us. We, we like to see it in our right. right? So but. you know, we could restock up if needed and come up with other items that we need and cover the savings that we really don't know where we're going to put it yet for the seventy. All right. My thought, right. So you're comfortable with the fifty-seven? We're holding it this year so far. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a motion? Yeah, yeah we're, we're in discussion. Second. We're in discussion. Right. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Electricity. Uh, I make the motion we accept one sixty five eight thirty. That's move. Frank second. Help Jenny. Discussion. All those in favor? Four zero zero. Keeping fuel. I'll make a motion to accept the 135850. Moved Frank, seconded Ginny. Uh, discussion? All those in favor? 400. Zero, zero. Furniture? 10,000. I'll make a motion to accept. I'll make a motion we accept the 10 grade. Second. 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 Discussion? All those in favor? 400. Zero, zero. Equipment? I'll make a motion we accept the 7500. It's flat. Second. I'll second it. Discussion? All those in favor? Four zero zero. Training. Most of the stuff is mandated, right? I make a motion we accept the three hundred. It's flat. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Can, can I make a motion that we delay the rest of it until the next meeting? Four zero zero. Is, is that a motion, Frank? No, I make a motion that we, on 27, 29, 51, that we hold off until next week. Second? Second. Second. Seconded. Discussion? <laughs> All those in favor? Okay. Um, was that a motion to adjourn, Frank? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, just a clarity, you're going to have a, a number of things ready for us? Yes, Next. I'm going to have three years worth of savings. Um, well, savings or expenditures, one of the two. And more if I can figure out if we had more. And um, table of percentages for non-union employees. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted? No, you can, we're going to make the correction on on, on the uh, superintendent and. Oh yes, I'm going to do that. Yep, we have that. Okay, and yeah, those are the three items. Those are the okay. three items. We have. We're going to have Emily. We're going to invite Emily Bachman come in and see if we want to talk to her. Just can can you tell her we don't really need a presentation. No, just tell her to just come on for a conversation. Yeah. So that we can talk to her yeah, yeah. about COVID issues yeah. and all that. Yeah, I'm not sure. What, yeah, but she, right. absolutely. Yeah. Um, it might take 10 minutes, it might take 20. Right, and we'll invite the new staff 
to our November meeting. This is the beginning. This is for our November meeting. Well, how about come to the Academy? Oh. Why are you here? Yeah. All right, I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Move, Frank. Seconded, Jeannie. All right. Sure. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.